Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting really to episode 5 of season 3 of Laid Back Camp. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1. So, are they almost here? Yeah, they need to be smaller. And then, boom, cookies. Mm-hmm. 
good. <laughs> and she gonna eat them all. Ah, Kirby. Kirby, 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 Kirby. Oh. Oh. That's <laughs> something they should have made in the movie. Oh, my God. That's okay though, second hand is so good. She was tired. Yay!
this one. Oh. I think that'll be a good idea. Yeah, how do you open it? Ah. Mm, that looks so good. <laughs> It really would. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> Three of them looking like Kirby's. <laughs> ah, shut up. It was funny because sometime last week, I think an hour or two after I recorded the episode, literally saw the cutest fan art of Aya and Rin together with their own Kirby's. And I was like, ah, that's so cute. Oh. <sighs> <Aww. laughs> 
I was about to say, yeah, because it smells like tuna now, right? That was cute, though. It really was. I'm happy that all three of them are together. Like, oh, Jesus. Three whole episodes. But you know what? It was good in a way. I really enjoyed the journey of it to get to the destination and the fact that they're here. Um, It kind of makes me wonder if they're going to extend it for at least one more episode before they all go home and such. But, no, even if they don't, it was still sweet. I'm glad that they just got to see each other. It's like, um, not seeing your friends for a really, really long time, but you just keep in touch as best as you can. And then when you finally see each other, you're just like, oh, my God, and then you might cry or some shit. And you're like, <laughs> you just have to be like, 
and be like, oh my fucking god, why did you fucking leave? What's wrong with you? <laughs> I'm sorry. But no, like seriously, it was just super adorable. The food. It looked so good. So, 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 so good. Made me hungry, even though the last thing I just recently ate, because the girl was at the movies, um, I had a chicken tender basket, of course, with like, I think four or five pieces of chicken tenders and, um, a buttload of fries. I I've had it the last couple of times I've gone to the movie theater, but specifically, hold on. Already up. I'm surprised Rin is enough yet. Pretty. It's very calming. <laughs> hey, it was a long journey, so don't blame her for something. <laughs> I mean, okay, so as I was saying, number one, literally had them almost like every single time when I go, like the last couple of times I've gone to the movie theater, but something about these ones just like was to, you know when something's like overly salty and you, you eat something and just immediately before you taste like the breading, the like juices from the meat or like anything, you instantly taste salt and that's what it was like. I was like, these are good, but these are way too freaking salty so i don't think i'll be getting them again for a while the next time i go um but no overall i still had fun with the movie like i said if you follow me on instagram i rated it like a five out of ten like as someone who loves horror movies it, it it's still it was still enjoyable it was okay but i i like i think i could have waited until i got home and like home movies and just like that in such home release and like watch it from the comfort of my home but no the seats that i was in me and my mom were in really good especially if you want to go see a movie with like really um like uh, interacting moments and such definitely go get those d box seats movies because um tickets because those are really really comfortable but the biggest weakness is do not fall asleep. You're, you're going to be very easily falling asleep. You, enjoy that ride, but you're going to fall asleep. But no, I really love the fact that these three got to spend time together. Even with the fact that I and, and the Dutch girl really got up early before Rin took a picture of her and just, you know, woke up and just saw, like, the beginning of the day and such. I remember sometimes days when I was, it used to be like, maybe when I was in elementary, so, like, you know, when you were, um, off for like winter break and such and you were able to stay up so there were times um around the new year I would stay up all night just to see the first sun rise of the new year and such because I was like hey you know that's sweet and you know you just want to see the you know the day start and just like that nowadays I don't do that because I get too sleepy at a certain time unless I drink coffee <laughs> or a soda maybe because like literally what was it Tuesday night yeah, Tuesday night, I I, <laughs> I went to Walmart because my mom wanted to go to Walmart last minute. And um, I got me some coffee, like an iced latte. And I, I was I came home, played, played my game and such, drank the coffee, and I did not go to bed until about 4 or 5 o'clock in the morning. And I was like, I can't sleep. <laughs> so 
So don't do that unless you want to stay up all night. But no, I hate the fact they're going to go their separate ways next week. But I get it because, you know, there are times where it has to all come to the end. And you all got to go your separate ways and stuff. Even though Kirby and freaking Rin both live in the same town. But as I said, she is going to visit them one day. It's just not today. One day. We just don't know when. But... Other than that, guys, that's my reaction view towards episode 5 of season 3 of Laid Back Camp. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Thursday for episode 6. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.